Hello everyone, welcome back to Come Paint With Me. Yes, this is a scraped canvas. I seem to be really good at one thing, and that is scraping a canvas. So, I tried, but I'm not giving up, I'm just going to do it again. Hopefully I have enough paint. Doubtful. Torch. Boy, I am not having luck tonight. I got more paint on my mats than I do on my canvas. Par for the course. Well, let's get this cleaned off. And I Oh no, I'm out of paper towels. That is not good. Oops, that one went in the paint. Okay. Now let's put some color on. And see what I get this time. So I'm going with the dark blue on the bottom again. Then I'm going to do the turquoise. Jeez. And then I'm going to do the light blue. Then the metallic. And then I am going to add a bit of copper. I should put the copper down first, maybe. And the Instradam. Come on, just need a drizzle. It seems to me that that is not enough color. I'm really anxious to try this metallic green apple by Modern Masters. Just something I found it. Michaels that I literally just wanted to see what color it was and it's a, it's just really pretty in the jar it's pretty going on too so and I don't have very much yellow but maybe I can this that's just to brighten it up a little All right, I don't know what else to do. Get done work this time, then I'll have to start all over another day. Oh. Oh my god. 
goodness. All right, here we go. Stay on that matte paint or I'm going to be in big trouble when there's puddles of paint on a garage floor. Okay, well that looks very nice. Oh, I don't do that well either. So now you're asking yourself, Exactly what does she do though? Over this side, over this side, over that side. I'm gonna get this line right here. really don't like that too much, but <laughs> okay, it's time to quit. I dip my boob in the paint. <laughs> That's hysterical. laughing myself. <laughs> oh, I, I told you, Tammy, if you're watching, you're not the only one. Remind, you remind me of me. So since I dip my boob in it, let me just Add a little paint there. And another hair. I don't think I've done one painting that I haven't ended up with a hair in. And also in the varnish, and that is really bad. I got to get my routine together here so I can make sure that I can sell my paintings when I get good. Of course, my email will be in the description. Anybody can email me. Um, I haven't done anything really good enough to to sell yet except this one looks pretty okay oh. I'm having
having a hard time with my knees and standing out here on the concrete is not really good for them. So I prepare them with a little bit of ice <laughs> or rest and then I come out and paint and I try and sit to be in the beginning and then eventually stand up. Okay. Well, I can't see the edge on the other side, so I'm going to have to walk around and check it out. I got some beautiful cells. I got that green in there. I got the metallic in there. The copper's in there. Um, I wish they had a little bit more shimmer. I don't know exactly how to... I know the gold does it. And I know the deco art. Silver and gold do that. They put, it kind of spreads and puts it all over. Here's a good example of, if you can see that, uh, dip the paint in there. Can you see that? that once I varnished it, and that gold popped out of there like crazy. That's a part of a diptych. So, okay, well, I'll bring you down and show you the, the result here, the wet result, and then after it dries, I'll come back and give you the dry result. So, hang on, you're going for a ride. Okay, here you go, here's the wet result. See, that's beautiful cells. Just plain beautiful. And I have a lot of negative space, but you need negative space in your canvases so you can showcase the colors is the way I look at it. So it doesn't look too bad. I, I think I'm okay with it. What a huge, huge mess to clean up. And all my skins are going to be ringing because of the white paint. And I'm going to have to get me a lowly veffy um, silicone mat. Probably goes across my whole table. And that will help a lot. You just have to you know, go slow with this. It's an expensive hobby. So, and then just to show you, here is the crazy eyeball I did. That is one of my videos. It should show up on the end of this one. And then there is the diptych. That one should show up. And I've been showing this one as much as I can. Um, but I lost the video on this one. I don't know where it went. It went into not just the cloud, but it must have went to heaven. So, and then this is what I am. Uh, I have a couple jars on my table to hold my sticks. And I decided to pour over it and just see what it looks like. And they look gorgeous. Just when they get all dry and everything, and I flip them over, we'll see. Because I, I, I think they need a little bit of, um, you know, varnish on it so they can be shiny. So, well, thank you so much for stopping in. And even though it was a bust video until now, because I started one, scraped one, I'll try and put all that in. But. I really appreciate it if you would give me a thumbs up for a like. Ooh, band-aid thumb. Mm -hmm. 
my fingers split. And um, subscribe. Whatever you can do to help me out is much appreciated. I want to thank you for coming back or just looking at my video. And I hope that y'all will come back and paint with me. Thanks. Have a great night. Bye.